video. What is going on my fellow jewelers? Today we're doing dainty earrings. Now I know some of you like the big chunky like right, right up in here and some of you are all about the dainty itty bitty stuff. I'm kind of like in the middle. I, I like the medium size stuff. I like the medium necklaces, medium earrings, but today we're going on the dainty side with these beauties. Oh my gosh, look at these, these dainty butterfly earrings. <gasps> Aren't they just darling? Now you can get the same beads of me. I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. But if you don't have butterfly, that's okay. You don't need butterfly beads. You can do any beads you want. Let me just teach you the technique. This is a little bit harder than what I usually do in my other videos, but guess what? I'm gonna go step by step. And by the end of it, you're gonna be the professional. You're gonna be the expert making videos, teaching me how to do stuff. That's right. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click that bell get notifications because guess what I'm all about the how to the jewelry making I got beaded jewelry I even do some redness and jewelry I got your back on both but you and me let's get started all right let's make these cute dainty butterfly earrings but first I want to tell you that everything that you see all the tools and the materials they're all listed in the description below and I'm also selling um, both butterfly beads and the small round beads um, and so you can buy directly from me or you can use whatever beads you want I just gotta let you know all right so let's get started with these simple dainty earrings so um, the first thing I want to do is I want to put the loops on my on my round beads I have two small small round mill, uh, beads are about two millimeter, three millimeter beads. Now I have about a 20 gauge wire because my beads are so small. That means the holes are small. And so I need, um, not an 18 gauge, but a 20 gauge wire. So I'm cutting about three to four inches off. If you're just beginning and you've never done this technique before, um, I really recommend cutting more wire than less wire. So I'm just going to take the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to bend my wire at a 90 degree angle like that. Do you see that? Bending my wire at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to wrap that wire around the top of my pliers and then I'm gonna shift my pliers like that. And I'm going to pull that over and it looks like a lady with a scarf on, that's right. It looks like a lady with a scarf. That's the look that you want. You want that to be completely over and like this is her body, this is her head, and this is her scarf. So isn't that cute? So that's the look you want. The next step we're gonna do is we are going to grab um, the, the loop on here with your pliers. You can do long nose pliers. I have snub nose pliers. I am going to then grab with my round nose pliers uh, the, the scarf part and start wrapping it around um, my my lady the loop part and I'm gonna wrap it around twice I like two times some people like three times maybe even one time I like the the look of two around there I think that's just a great amount now I'm gonna put this to the side so I have done my two loops and I'm gonna cut as close um, as I can using these great uh, cutters that cut so well and then there's just a little bit of a guy hanging out I'm going to squeeze him in there. I want to squeeze and make sure he's not sticking out so it doesn't poke the person wearing these. And then I'm just going to straighten that out. So this technique, um, it can be a bit more complicated than other techniques I've taught. Just take it slow, watch the video as many times as you need, and you'll get the hang of it. It really is, once you do it over and over, repetition is key. You're going to be like, oh, I love this technique. I, it's one of my favorite techniques of loop making. So now that we got our loop, we are going to put, oh, I already picked out my beads. <laughs> I, I already picked them all out. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. I'm more prepared than, than what I even realized. And then we're going to do the same thing again. The bead is down as far as it can go right next to the loop. And then I'm going to bend it at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to bend my wire over and then shift it like I did the first time. And I'm going to bend it back, have kind of like another lady with a scarf on, a lot more scarf than lady. And then I'm gonna take my pliers right here, my snub nose pliers. And that's okay, I have a lot. It's nice to have a lot of wire um, to, to be able to hold onto and wrap it around. So I'm gonna grab it here and wrap it around twice. And I wanna double check it's wrapped around twice on both sides um, so that um, it has a look on both sides. Cause you can wrap it around and think you've wrapped around twice, but it's only on one side. So just make sure that when you wrap it around, you, you've checked both sides and then you cut it. 
So be careful when you are cutting um, the excess off. It's so easy to cut the loop along with the excess wire. So just be very careful. I've done it before and I've had to restart all over again. Not a big deal, but a little bit of frustrating. Just want to give you that tip. And now we're going to do almost the exact same thing. Almost. Let me tell you why it's almost. So I'm going to cut again about three or four inches. And again, I have tiny beads here that I don't need probably three or four inches, but um, just for the sake of teaching you, I'm doing a little bit longer. Um, this is a different part, right? So we're gonna do the same 90 degree angle, right? We're gonna loop it around just like that. Bring it, shift it, and then do the scarf. Before you wrap it, we gotta hook it onto the bead which just made the two loops on. So I am going to um, hook it on there just like that because if you don't you gotta start over because you need them hooked together and this is how you hook them together and so i am now grabbing just the loop i'm going to try not to grab so much the bead you're going to get a little bit of that bead but i'm going to grab as little as possible and then i'm going to wrap it around twice and you may have to just shift a couple times because now you have a little bit extra going on with you and so i just kind of um, swing around i wish i didn't put as much a scarf on as I wanted, but that's okay. We will just go with the flow and get it wrapped around twice, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut like so, and then I'm going to just put her in there. And now I'm gonna put my other bead on. I'm gonna put my other bead on like this. I love this technique so much. One of the big reasons I really love this technique is because um, it can't come apart. Like they are, when they are locked in, it, they, they, they ain't breaking apart. Now with the other loop techniques I have taught where it's just like a loop on a loop and you have like a little gap, that those come apart pretty, uh, a lot more than I like. And I always feel much more assured that this will not break apart at all. And so I love this technique um, for that purpose. So now I am going to put my other loop on I'm going to bend this back 90 degree angle, just like that. I'm gonna shift it around, bring it around my pliers. I'm gonna shift my pliers, make the scarf, and do that whole technique over again. Yep, just doing it, doing the same thing. And you can do, you can, um, I love it, because with this earring, you can um, have as many of these round beads dangling down as you want. I am just doing two. Um, but you could do three, you could do four, you could do five, you could do one. Um, but I am just having two beads dangle down, but you could do more for this particular earring. Okay, so then the last step, the very last step, is I want to connect my butterfly to the end here. Well, not my last step, I have two more steps, okay? Two more steps. Um, so I am going to take a head pin. I need a head pin because it's flat right here and it will hold the bottom um, of my bead like this. So I'm, I'm doing like that. Don't do an eye hole, don't do an eye pin because it just looks unfinished. Make sure that it is a head pin. Make sure this is a head pin um, to finish off your, your earring. So now I am not gonna do the whole loop thing because of how the wings are and everything. I'm gonna go really simple. I'm gonna go simple and I am going to cut it. I'm gonna make a pretty, a nice medium sized loop. So I'm cutting, I'm using my round nose pliers. I'm actually gonna bend this back at a 90 degree angle. I'm pulling that, do you see I'm pulling that? And then I'm gonna take it and I am going to make a nice medium size loop, but I'm gonna open it just slightly and I'm going to put um, my wire on. I'm gonna open it just a little bit. Nope, got it. And then I could use my round nose pliers, but in this case, I kind of want to just squeeze and I am going to just squeeze it and straighten out. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? I love this earring so very much. And then the last step, the very last step is we want to open up um, our loop on our earring part, the hook part, put my the beaded part on and then close it up, close it up. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, then you have your dainty earring. And I've already made two of them. I didn't think you wanted to watch me make it twice. It's just the exact same thing, but doing it a second time. Um, but aren't these darling? I love them so very much. I think they're cute. I even made, so I made it with the orange just to show you like how they look with the orange. Um, I like it. I like the, the green and the orange or just 
the really light green all together. And so I, I have both of these um, on sale and you can check those out in the link in the description below. But aren't these so cute? I love butterflies and I love how dainty they are. Oh, these are so dainty. Yes, they are. And oh my gosh. And then the orange ones as well. Look at those. I like them both. I think I like the green ones the best, but if you like orange, these are great too. Oh my gosh. I think these are so cute. Like I said, you can get the same beads of me. You can buy beads for me. But again, my videos aren't about like doing the exact same if you don't want to. You do you, I do me. We all get along. But I'd love to hear from you what you think about the video and about everything we did today. Comment, share, like. Love to hear your thoughts. Love for you to comment and I love to respond back. Now, I wanted to let you know that I am on Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't do the dancing. Though I can, I got, I got some moves. I got some moves. I don't do da TikTok dancing, but I do do like really shorts on the jewelry I'm making. So I do like one minute videos on, I mean, fast forward one minute videos on jewelry making. So you can go ahead and check me out on TikTok. Now, you know, I was a little shy at first to say anything. And I'm like, oh, okay. TikTok. All right. I got this. Anyway, we wanted you to know before I go though. I want to pray for you. I love praying for my viewers. I have been praying for my viewers for two years now on my videos, two, two, a year and a half, two, two years, whatever. And, um, I, I always ask the Lord, God, what do you want me to pray for my viewers? And <laughs> it sounds so cliche, but he's like, I want you to pray about those that are going to be like butterflies in this next season. You're like, what does that even mean? It means like when like real butterflies, right? They are in cocoons, they go through a transformation and then they come out gorgeous. And I just feel like the Lord's like, you, you have been in a cocoon. You have been in like this hiding place, this like transformation, this even like pressure and hard stuff that have made you and you're about to merge into this beautiful butterfly. And I know that sounds so cliche, but it's so beautiful. I um, just had my birthday and I found this butterfly dress. Here's this picture of me and my butterfly dress. I love this. I, I'm like, I want like a thousand butterfly dresses, all different kinds, because I love it so much. Well, when... Um, I put it on. The Lord was like, it is now your butterfly season. Like you have been in a cocoon. You have been going through such, oh my gosh, I've been through such hard stuff. Uh, man, the struggles. I can't even dive into all the struggles, but he's like, you're about to emerge into your butterfly season. So I want to pray for those that, that the Lord is calling you into a new season that's going to be fresh, new, and you're in your butterfly season. So God, I thank you, God, that you have different seasons in our life, not just the weather, not just fall, winter, spring, and all that stuff, but that you have seasons in our lives. And for those that are going into a butterfly season, I pray be so sweet. I pray when they emerge from the hardship, from the darkness, from, from the, the pressure and even, even the attacks from the enemy, God, that it would be such a beautiful season of emerging and enjoying everything that they've worked hard to get to this season, God. Just bless them, bless them, bless their work of their hands, bless them in this new season. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Guess what? I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye!